Hello and welcome to another step-by-step -step how to tie tutorial video. This is the Micro Stone. This is part of a monthly subscription from Post Flybox. This is the tying subscription. Fun little pattern. This is using a size 12 hook. I will be using the gold medium uh, bead eye. I'll be using the yellow stripped goose biots. A little bit of added weight, some lead wire. I'll be using the D ribbing, kind of the root beer colored. Rubber legs, yellow. Wing casing, I'm going to use the brown and gold. And the dubbing is the hot orange. And paired up with it all is a black and yellow tying thread. I will be using the yellow. So let's go ahead and remove our sample. And the first thing I'm going to do is just slide my bead on there. I'm going to put it in a small hole first. Secure our hook and our vise. I'm going to slide that down. And like all good flies, this one will begin with actually, second step is a single wrap of thread. But we'll continue this on and secure our thread down. Trim off our tying thread, and the first piece of material I'm going to tie in is uh, the goose biot for the front, because I like it to stick um, in front of the bead. So I'm going to isolate two of those, come at it, and trim that off. And to keep it simple on myself, I'm going to tie these in one at a time facing forward with the tips and I'm going to go about one hook's length. We'll just tie that all the way in. Run our thread forward and we'll repeat for the opposite side. And these are curving out. Make sure our length matches up. Couple tight wraps and we'll run this and secure that all the way down. All right, now at this time, I'm gonna come in with my whip finish tool. Give it the old one, two, three whip finish. And I'm gonna trim off my thread, slide my bead forward and cast my thread on again. This way I don't have a piece of thread hanging out over the bead eye. Continue my wraps towards the bend. I'm gonna tie in the rear biot. Once again, I'm gonna isolate two quills. We're going to measure these out one hook's length. And we might as well just run that all the way forward. And we'll tie in the opposite side. Once again, these are curved out. Line up our tips and secure it down. Excellent. This one's shaping up pretty good. All right, now we're going to add our lead weight. 
a lot of the recipes and directions call for uh, the lead wire to actually be um, wrapped around the shank of the hook. I want a little wider stance and profile. So I'm going to tie this in on either side of the hook. So I'm going to run that lead wire into that bead eye. And I'm just going to take my lead as back as I want my thorax. Give it a couple of twists. And I can bring my thread forward again. And now I can do the far side. Get that lead in there. And we'll secure that down. It doesn't need an extreme amount of weight. So I think just those two little bits help. Okay, now that I'm at that position, I will tie in my ribbing material. This is the vinyl ribbing rubber D-rib. Start this up here. And as I tie this in, I'm going to give this a good stretch. All the way to the bend of the hook. Nice and tight wraps. Excellent. Taking my thread forward, we'll palmer on the ribbing. And when I start off, I'm giving this a real nice tight stretch and as I work forward I will relax the stretch and this will help with the taper. I'm going to start to relax the stretch a little bit. Letting it lay down just a little heavier. And we'll secure this in. I'm going to give this a few extra wraps, locking it down because it's fully loaded with tension. All right, let's go ahead and trim this off. All right, now we're going to tie in our wing casing. And we got to start with the gold. And there's a silver and a gold side. I'm going to tie this in silver side up. So when I fold it back and over, the gold is exposed. And having those two Two wraps of lead wire on either side of the shank of the hook really leaves a nice, even, flat surface for this to go on to. Next, I'll tie in my brown, and I will just do the same as I did with the gold. All right, once those two are secured, I'm going to come in with my rubber legs. Rubber legs, I'm going to measure these out uh, one hook's length, or not one hook's length, the length of the overall fly. We'll be right about there. Trim those both off at the same time, and we'll tie them in one at a time. Got two here stuck together, so we're just going to split that in half. And we're going to come underneath and secure that front leg. And we'll do the same on the far side. Secure that down. Take our thread forward and we'll lock them in up here at the front. There's one and Oh, slipped up. So we got the legs 
kind of growing in their overall profile now. We'll come in with our dubbing. I'm going to add just a little bit of wax here. And the hot orange dubbing, just a little, just the smallest little bit goes a long way. We don't want to build up too much bulk. So a nice, tight dubbing noodle. We'll give it a few wraps right there on that thorax. Now I'm going to take my thread forward of the legs. And I'm going to do my wing casing. I'm going to take these up forward one at a time so I can get a nice tight wrap. Fold those legs back. Get those legs out of the way. And now we'll do the gold. Excellent. Trim off our excess. A little bit goes a long way. I think I've tied three or four flies with just the two strips that came off of the package. All right, we'll come in and do our whip finish. And we're having some technical difficulty here with that. We'll get these legs back. I don't want to capture that leg. That's the problem. Here we go. One, two, three. All right, once we trim off our tying thread, can adjust our legs, a little pull, this one a little bit of a pull, and I squished my bi on a little bit, but that's all right. All right, last and final step, we're just going to do one little droplet of UV uh, clear. This is thin. Right on that wing case and the top of that bead. Let that soak in for a second and we'll give it a quick zap with the flashlight. All right, there you have it, folks. That is the Micro Stone from Post Fly Box April subscription. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Happy tying. And with this guy, definitely, oh so definitely, tight lines.